I'm Victoria. I'm speaking to Rampa Ramopo, CEO of Lanseria International Airport. Thank you for joining us. What is your response to the liquidation of Comair? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your show, Victoria. It, obviously, the news of uh, Comair's uh, liquidation came as a shock to, to us. We, uh, we were aware that they were experiencing some some challenges financial challenges but we didn't expect that it will lead to uh, to where they are right now uh, and uh, the as the industry obviously you know that uh, we had uh, the impact of uh, covid uh, on our business uh, the lockdown restrictions impacted negatively uh, on our business and as we were uh, hoping and seeing that the, the the industry is moving in the right direction in terms of uh, recovery, uh, then we get uh, hit by this Kome, uh, unfortunate news. What it means to us, uh, it's it's a number of things. It's uh, this would obviously have a a, a ripple effect uh, to the industry. Uh, we had geared up the the company uh, for the recovery. Uh, we uh, uh, during COVID, unfortunately for us, we retrenched. Uh, a number of uh, of our staff, and we're slowly getting back, getting them back into the system, you know. But or, or be it on a different uh, relationship structure, okay. uh, just to take into account the fact that the the, the industry is not fully uh, fully recovered, or we not at 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 hundred uh, percent operational or trading levels. So we had to now go back to the drawing board. We have okay. to. Uh, I actually even had to have my an agent meeting with my team this morning, uh, in informing them that we need to now uh, relook at some of the austerity me- measures that we implemented uh, during COVID. Uh, not all of them uh, will be implemented because the uh, circumstances are different. We we have uh, Safe fortunately operating uh, from Lanseria, and and we have our GA sector performing well. Uh, as well, so it would not be as uh, as aggressive as what we we had uh, during COVID. We are going to look at uh, some of our cost line items uh, in terms of uh, of uh, reducing that. Uh, unfortunately, with our staff as well, we will have to also look at uh, uh, some measures to to reduce uh, that part uh, of our business in terms of cost. So, but it's it's not going to be. As, as aggressive as uh, what we did uh, during during COVID, but of course this has come uh, at a time when we're not expecting it. Unfortunately for us, uh, it is what it is, and we need to to react uh, accordingly. I think from for for us also is that we've learned some good lessons uh, uh, as a consequence of COVID nineteen, and uh, there are things that we know that we need to implement. Uh, as a reactive, uh, as, a, as a reaction from our side, and and hopefully it's not going to be for a long term. We are hoping that uh, if it's not Kwame that's coming back uh, out of liquidation, it will be somebody else taking up the opportunity. But we lost about forty percent of our wow. of our market. So, have you had any other discussions with any other airlines like SAA or Lyft? Uh, we we've had. Uh, those kind of discussions and uh, even before uh, Kome, uh, okay. because we realized that uh, we needed to uh, to fill the gaps uh, yeah. that were uh, created by amongst others, uh, Mango and Mango went into business rescue and uh, unfortunately structurally the industry uh, especially, and this is the message that we are getting from the airlines, they don't have enough capacity uh, okay. uh, there is demand uh, for their services Unfortunately, right now where they are, they don't have the capacity, meaning that they don't have the equipment to be able to cater for for that market. So priority, uh, as far as they are concerned, will be out of OR uh, and not necessarily uh, OR Tambo International and not necessarily Lanseria. But we are having those uh, discussions with some of the airlines to consider Lanseria as 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 an alternative or a secondary airport. Do you know how many Com Air related staff work at Lanseria, and 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 are their futures hanging in the balance? The I wouldn't know that that uh, that number uh, out of uh, out of my head right now. Uh, it, but suffice to say that uh, 
You know, our, our business model is different to, for example, AXA model. So most of uh, the services uh, we, we, we render ourselves, it's, it's our staff that render the, the, those services. For example, our checking agent, boarding uh, agent, ground staff as well. So it wouldn't have been uh, commerce staff uh, other than those that are working in the ticket office as well as the crew members. So on, on the ground, as far as this uh, is concerned, it's, uh, it's directly impacting our staff. Uh, than it is uh, well, obviously it is impacting Kome, and, and because of the of the of the business model that we are that we have implemented over over the years. So I wouldn't know that number uh, okay. out of out of uh, out of my head right now. Yeah. And how do you feel overall about the airline industry? Do you feel like it's rebounding and it's going from strength to strength, or is it still quite uncertain at the moment with the rising oil price and and COVID regulations? The jury is still out there, uh, Victoria. I think uh, for my observation is, is that uh, there is still the noise uh, in the system. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, there are those external factors that are impacting on the recovery uh, of the industry. Un unfortunately for us, what's happening uh, in, in, in Eastern Europe and, and, and other parts of the world, and 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 also uh locally where we have uh, uh I, you know issues of the supply of fuel that was interrupted because of the floods in in KZN so it's it's and 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 infl inflationary pressures in other areas as well is having an impact uh, on the business uh, the airline businesses but i must also say that uh, we we actually have have been seeing confidence coming back into the market as in passengers now you know willing to fly uh, we have seen it in our numbers uh, from about uh, february to may uh, and uh, and we, we were actually forecasting that uh, that growth will persist uh, and in fact we we were uh, projecting that the recovery would uh, actually be not as long as what we had anticipated you know so okay. the demand is there uh, for okay. the services and, but there are those external factors that are impacting on the on the airline businesses. But we we quite positive uh, in terms of the outlook uh, okay. for the industry. It's just that those structural uh, impediments that need to be addressed sooner rather than later.